This is part 11 of the McKee Guitars custom acoustic guitar build. And right now, what I've done is, uh, you can see that I've shaped the peg head and then put the overlay on, trimmed it, drilled the uh, tuning machine holes. Um, I shaped, shaped the peg head using the spindle sander over there and just shaped it to the lines that was drawn on there and then uh, drilled the holes but uh, when I put the overlay on this ebony overlay and I trimmed the overlay to the shape and then touched up anywhere I needed to and then laid out the holes with the plexiglass template and drilled them on the drill press now most guitar shops even with the necks and everything everything's done most of it's done by CNC machine I do everything by hand I don't have the fancy CNC machines and you, even a lot of the uh, um, um, custom builders that are you know bigger shops such as uh, you know Santa Cruz and Collins I, I wouldn't doubt they even have CNC machines they're just making so many guitars but uh, here, um, everything's done by hand, and kind of, you start getting into CNC machines and everything. They're they're nice to have, but um, you kind of lose some of the art of building a high-end guitar all by hand. So um, the other thing I did, we had to do the inlay here. So I took my Dremel tool, I laid out the inlay on on the um, peg head and I took my Dremel tool with a down cut spiral bit and I, uh, I cut it all out by hand and then even the some of the finer points had to use my uh, um, chisel to uh, do the corners but uh, the pearl this is mother pearl here cut out the logo set it in the slot that I cut for it and it lays right in there you can see my logo and you gotta be real careful taking these in and out especially when you have a a tight fit that you don't break the pearl and you can see how how thin some of that pearl is there You can get this out here. You can see this stuff's brittle. You gotta be really careful with it. I mean, that M is really, really thin. So, you gotta be careful putting it in and out. So, next step I'll do is uh, mix up some epoxy and then smash the uh, inlay in there and let it dry overnight and sand it flush. So now I got the McKee inlay in there. You can see the epoxy in it. And then I'm just going to take some uh, more epoxy and just kind of uh, spread it over there. The epoxy you can see is black. I uh, took in some ebony dust. Mixed it in there to get the black pigment. I'm going to use a, a 30 minute epoxy so I have some uh, some working time with this. And then I just let it I just let it dry overnight. And that way it'll be nice and set up. And then uh then we uh, sand it flush and proceed to the next step. So uh, keep checking back and have more videos. And we're getting near to the end. We'll have the neck neck uh, built here before you know it, and we'll be attached to the body and do the finished work and everything else. So uh, keep checking on YouTube and Facebook for more videos. Thanks for watching.